Thank you for joining us today. Today, Sangamesh and I will be going over the savings product configuration. We are working on MIFOS X version 15.03. As always, we will start with where your documentation can be found. So as you're you know, watching the demonstration and we're going through these things, you have resources so you don't have to take a million notes the documentation is set up for you. Today we are going to go over savings accounts and we have the individual and the group savings accounts, all of the documentation. If you find that you have questions and you get stuck, you can go to our answer hub. This is a brilliant resource where you can go in and Ask your question, you type in this information, and you can see what kind of questions and answers have been posted. If that still doesn't work, and you still don't have your information, you can go to the Answer Hub, there's the link, type your question in, any additional details, and you will get a very timely response from someone in the community. We also have available to the user mail list and the developer mail list where you can sign up and post questions there and it's remarkable how fast responses populate. I get a copy of each one of those and I'm, I'm impressed with this community so there is quite a bit of help out there for you. Without further ado, I will turn the controls over to Sangamesh and he will give you the hands-on demonstration and explain how each of the fields works. And Sangamesh, I have just made you the presenter, so if you can click to accept that, that will be brilliant. Thanks, Diana, for introduction. Uh, are you able to see my screen, Diana? Not just yet. Okay. Uh, here it is. It's populated now. All right, great. So I'm on the MIFOS login page, and I would log in as a super user now for me. Oops, pass. And this is this is the MIFOS dashboard. So I'm clicking on the admin. On the drop down, I'll click on the products. In the product, on clicking on the savings product, we'd be able to you know create the savings product. Before I start you know creating a savings product, I would be Using this example, I would create a regular savings product with a 4% interest rate per annum and use interest compounding period has quarterly and interest posting period has quarterly again. So we shall create a savings product now. Now I'll click on the okay, thanks. Oh, so on clicking on the create same product, I'd be able to create the same product. I'll be using the same uh, savings product name that is regular saving product, regular savings. I provide the short name RSP. And if we hover on the question mark, it provides the uh, information about the field. Okay. So for description, it provides an additional information regarding the purpose and characteristics of the same product. So I'll provide a quick details about this same product. Regular savings with a 4% interest rate per annum okay. and coming to the next category is the currency by default since um, by default it's a, a US dollar I'll select US dollar and decimal places 
I would leave with the default value has two and multiples of I probably it has hundred. Next I would move to the terms. I would try four person. That is I just provide the four number and by default it will take as a per annum. So the provided value would be for a per annum. And interest compounding period, I would select as quarterly. Interest posting period. So this would be an uh, when the interest should be posted to the account. And for interest calculated using, we have a daily and monthly. So oh, daily would be compounding occurs on the balance each day and is accumulated with the balance so that the next day's interest calculation takes it into account. And for monthly, compounding occurs on the interest earned over the entire month. Next month's interest calculation is on the savings account balance plus any interest earned in previous compounding period. So I would select it has a average daily balance for now. And days in years, um, <clears throat> it could be the financial um, days. So depending upon the organization, you could select the days in a year. So I would select 365 days for now. And these fields are uh, additional fields. Fair in, you know, you can provide the minimum opening balance amount. For example, if I said it has 100, so at the account opening time, it would ask for a 100 uh, minimum opening balance value. And uh, next would be the lock in period. So if I provide, you know, um, one and select the um, period we have days weeks months and years if I select weeks so it would be locked for a week if a, a person come to a uh, if a person want to withdraw and uh, and MIS entry person when when they try to you know uh, do the withdraw activity, it won't allow to withdraw if if there if it is in the lock-in period. Next we have is a apply withdrawal fee. So if we check the checkbox, so it would apply the withdrawal fee whenever there is a transfer transfers. So let me uncheck this one for now. And next we have is a balance required for interest calculation. So if I provide 100 uh, value, 100 amount for the balance to be balance required for calculation, and the amount is around 50, so interest won't be calculated since it's a below 100. Next, and co um, coming to the enforce minimum balance. So if we check the checkbox, um, it will enforce for a minimum balance. And minimum balance to be maintained, the provided balance, for example, if I provide 150 amount here, it won't allow to withdraw below this balance. Although if the lock-in period is not provided, it still it won't allow to withdraw the withdraw balance below the provided balance here. And we have a ease overdraft allowed. This could be an this could be used for overdraft account, and 
on checking the checkbox it shows a new field that is maximum for draft amount limit so the providing the provided amount can be a limit can be set a limit here so let me uncheck here and next would be a charges if there are any charges like if we had uh, defined a withdrawal fee or maintenance fee by checking the um, or by selecting the charges it would show it in a drop down and on selecting that and on clicking on the add button it would add the charges for this savings product and enabling accounting for savings product by default it would be none and presently we have cash based accounting for savings product so this i would be showing enabling the accounting for products would be showing in next sessions now quickly overview i have created a mandatory fields which are regular savings regular saying product name and the short name then the description then selected the currency multiples of then the decimals of then provided the 4% as a interest rate then selected the interest compounding period and the uh, interest posting period then selected the interest calculated using uh, and also the days in years and these are the options fields so if i click on the submit we would be able to create a savings product and now the same regular savings product is ready to open with a savings account yeah. i would now pass back to dena Thank you, Dana. Very much for that demonstration, Sangamesh. We appreciate the, your hard work on this. And you can see here on this screen all the different links you can get to uh, communicate with our community. And we hope you, you enjoyed today's presentation. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone.